like to murder. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create this look. It's my interpretation of a Barbie comic book type of look. So if you guys want to see how to do this, it's super simple, easy, anyone can do it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so obviously I did uh, the base of my face off camera. I just used a foundation and concealer. It's important for cartoon like type pop arts to be more matte than shiny. So first we're going to do the brows. So I've been using uh, two different eyeliner pens. And this is uh, one from Scone Cosmetics. And it is an insanely intense tattooed waterproof liner in jet black. Uh, it has like a brush like end. So I've been using this for more of like the thicker lines, like cont uh, my contour cheeks and everything. And then this is from M Cosmetics and it's an illustrative eyeliner brush tip. And also in black, this one is definitely more pointier. So I've been using this for more of like the little smaller details that I have to do. I've also been using this to kind of like shape out where I want things to go and then I was using the thicker one to kind of deepen the uh, shape. You can pretty much use any two products that you have that are black. Obviously, the best I would recommend is definitely a gel, but if you don't and all you have is eyeliners, definitely use them as well. Anything that's black. Uh, pencils are kind of difficult, but if you have a pencil, because you have to constantly sharpen it to make the lines a little bit more like precise, but if you have all, if all you have is a black uh, pencil at home, then obviously, you know, use that. Just be aware that you're going to have to sharpen it multiple times. Uh, I've been using just like the actual eyeliner to kind of do my brows, but I'm actually going to try to use this, and I'm going to actually run it alongside of the uh, one of these brushes, like so, just to get the color. just use it to create the actual shape on my brow and then I'll just use the uh, pen to go in because again this would be real annoying and real time consuming if I constantly just did this I'm gonna try to draw like a regular boxy shape and then if we have to add a little bit more you know flick to it to make it look a little bit more curved we'll do that towards the end Now I'm going to go in with the eyeliner pencil, the scone one, and I'm going to use that to pretty much just color in my brow. It's going to look a little crazy, but trust me. Comic book characters don't have like, you know, fluffy brows or anything like that. so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so as you can see, like majority of my brow is already covered in. I'm just going to keep going to the front and kind of slowly building in the front area. So I wanna show you guys uh, this one completed brow. This brow is my good brow, so this brow always comes out looking bomb. Obviously, depending on the look that you're going for, you would change your brows to look the way you want them to. So for example, if you make faces, like if you make a crying face, you know, you know you're obviously like this, you see how your brows already go like, the, like kind of furrow, you'd want to create the brow to create kind of like an up where it's right here, so it kind of goes with the whole look. This is one brow done, and then we're gonna focus on the next brow, and we'll be back to continue the rest of the face. Okay, so I fixed up my brows, so obviously they look intense. So now in order to do the lips, you're gonna want to uh, place certain highlights in certain areas. I'm gonna use this NYX pencil in milk, and I'm pretty much just going to uh, pick out the places that I would like highlighters. So I'm gonna put a section here, and as well as upper here, and I'm just gonna try to make it as pigmented as possible. So these are the highlight points. This pencil is super awesome. It's better to use a liner because obviously it's a pencil, so it's a little difficult to get it to look smooth. The reason why I say that you should do the highlights first and then do the lip color is because sometimes lip color might not dry and then if it mixes in with it, it'll not be as white. Because this is a Barbie like kind of pop art, I'm going to be using a really bright pink. So I'm gonna be using the color Chrysanthemum from Jeffree Star. It's like this pink. Obviously 
add another layer, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm just going to let this dry before I apply the black and then start doing the little lines as normal. I know these uh, color, these highlights look a little intense, but once I have the black on, you'll see it definitely looks more pop already. Okay, so now that we have the lips down, uh, we're going to start on the eyes. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a winged eye liner. Oh, yeah. I saw I did a liner on both eyes. I really really like this uh, brush tip eyeliner from M Cosmetics. I'm going to actually draw the lower lashes. Now in order for me to do this, I want to bring down my lash line. This is going to serve as like drawing a even lower lash line than I already have. And then I'm going to fill in the portion that wasn't covered in with a white eyeliner to make my eyes look big and bright and just more cartoony. <laughs> You guys can see obviously I drew a lower lash line and now we're gonna just uh, draw the lashes now this part I stress take your time obviously you can fix it but it just sucks having to go back in and just fix it and it just it's more time-consuming so my advice take your time let's start on this side now obviously I have big eyes and I have a lot of creases under my eyes so this is actually really difficult for me um, but if you don't then bless you and I'm so jealous we're gonna start on the outer and we're gonna create a lash going down under the lash here and then a smaller one like towards the middle of the eye we just uh, made it here to George Goblin's horse <laughs> Okay, so this is one eye done. So as you can see, these are supposed to be like little lashes. They're obviously over-exaggerated and lashes do not look like this, but this is a cartoon, remember. We're gonna do the same thing from this side on this side. Okay, so the lashes are done. So now we're gonna move on to creating a crease. So obviously I have a natural crease right here. So we're gonna draw it a little bit above so that we have a new crease. from NYX and I'm going to use that to pretty much draw the space that's in between the lower lash line and my waterline. Okay, so as you guys can see, I definitely uh, fixed the lower lash line. I'm going to use this as my crease. That's where the color is going to stop and I'm going to color all the way down here. I'm going to use a pink color from the uh, Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place. I'm going to use this color right here. So this is the eye look. I'm gonna add some mascara. Okay, so now we're going to line our lips and we're going to make them look more cartoony. So you're gonna line your lips just like you would if it was a regular lip liner. Okay, so now that we have our lips lined out, uh, I'm going to start drawing a little cracks in my lip. So I'm gonna draw like black pretty much all along uh, the inside of my lip. I'm going to add like a little chin indent. I'm also going to use this uh, M1 to create like lines where my uh, above my lip. So 
So now onto my least favorite part because I just can't seem to nail this is going to be the nose. So pretty much with the nose, uh, we're going to go. Uh, you can really do this anywhere. You could do it here. You could do it depending on where you want the focus to be on, like what side. But I prefer to do it a really bold line down the middle of my nose, just because any side you'll be able to see that uh, the line. Okay, so I fixed the nose, so I made it, so I did hook it down um, the bridge of my nose, so that way when you see, you see how you can see it on this side, and hopefully you can see it from this side. So then it's the nostrils, which is actually harder than the bridge of the nose. actually died while I was in the middle of um, doing my nostrils so pretty much I did the line and I did the outside I lined my nostrils and then I focused a lot of the black in here just to kind of make my nose look a little bit more uh, animated so the last few steps is pretty much just doing little like face contouring so you're just going to start it from like the cheek area like midway of where you would start regular contouring I'm going to also do like a little uh, line right here we're just going to deepen up the lines that I just did, or darken up the lines that I just did. Obviously, the next part is chiseling out your jaw because you cannot forget that part. There are other options. You can obviously draw like a whole like line around your face just to kind of make it like even more cartoony. You can line out your ears. I'm gonna keep it real simple because I'm pretty much gonna have my hair down the entire time, but I am gonna line out my neck. And sometimes I even like to take a little highlighter on my neck at least just to show that it pops out because this is where my collarbone is. And I'm gonna take it and just put it here and then I'm going to uh, like smudge it out. And I'm gonna do the same here and then just smudge it out. So this is the final look. I did add a few tweaks here. I did add a, like, kind of like a little, a little butt chin, um, a little bit more defined chin. I did add a like kind of like, like a forehead line, and then I did add some of these little lines onto the rest of my neck. Okay, this is first of many Halloween looks that I'll be doing this year. I have so much in store for you guys. I can't wait for you guys to see what I have. So this is just like a good thing for a beginner um, to do if you're a last minute costume shopper, you don't know what to do, and you just want to do like a quick thing. This is really awesome. You can change it up, you can add tears, uh, you can pretty much do any kind of comic book. You can also add little uh, dots to it using the back of a brush to make it even more of a comic book look. Anything you want to do, do it. Feel free. Obviously, it's your face. You're going to adjust the contours and stuff to your face. But again, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell next to so you're notified whenever I drop another video. And you're going to want to be notified because my next few are going to be bomb. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.